in this lecture presented by www.free-academy.com. We are going to be covering what, in my opinion, is one of the most important rules of integration, and that's integration by parts. The formula I have written in orange here is the integral of u dv equals u times v minus the integral of v du. Let me rewrite that really quick in a way that's more recognizable to you. We'll have the integral of f prime of x, I'm sorry, already getting off to a wrong foot, the integral of f of x times g prime of x dx equals f of x g of x minus the integral of g of x f prime of x dx. Now in this equation, um, what we're doing here is we're letting u equal f of x and we're letting uh, v equal g of x. du equals f prime of x and dv equals g prime of x. So we're using the u and v's just like we did in the u substitution lectures. Uh, it's less cumbersome, it's just a little bit easier to remember and to apply. But if you notice this equation that I have here with the f of x and the g of x's, if you go through and you do the work, what you're going to find is that this is actually the product rule of der derivatives. There is no real difference. Uh, you can go through and drive this yourself. I'm going to post a lecture actually doing the derivation because I think it's pretty important to know. But now that we have this formula, let's see how to apply it. I'm going to do one example in this lecture and I'm going to go through, I'm going to do a bunch more examples afterwards. The example I'm going to use is the integral of x sine of x dx, which we currently have no other tools of using. You can try this. You can uh, use u substitution. You won't be able to come up and answer with this. So now let's, um, okay, so I rewrote it down here, x sine of x dx. And we need to pick a function u and a function dv out of this equation. And then what we'll do is we'll take the derivative of u and the integral of v to put into our formula. Uh, just like with our u substitution, you can pick anything you want. You can make u x sine of x. You can make v x sine of x. Uh, you can make, you know, pick it however you want. But just like with u substitution, you have to pick something useful, and that can get tricky. But let me uh, have a little bit more familiarity here. Let's uh, pick u to equal x, and we'll pick our dv to be sine of x dx. And you'll see why after I get through doing this problem. And then I'll actually do the converse where I'll pick uh, dv to be x and uh, u to be sine of x dx. All right, now that we have u equals x, du equals dx, dv equals sine of x dx, so v equals cosine of x. And you don't put in the plus c, you do that at the very end of your integrals. Just leave it out for right now. So that's, uh, that's the part so far. Pick a u and v, find the derivative of u, find the integral of v. Now we put everything into our formula. u and v equals x cosine of x. And I just noticed I made a little mistake. Our v is actually negative cosine of x. So our u and v equals negative x cosine of x. Sorry about that. Now, the second part, minus the integral of v, negative cosine of x, du, which in this case just happens to be dx. We can draw the one out in front to have a positive integral. And notice here, we have our x cosine of x, and then we have the integral of cosine of x, which we know how to do. So we can put that all together to get our answer, x cosine of x plus sine of x plus c. And that is the answer to the integral using integration by parts. 
Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring up a new sheet. I'm going to do this integral and I'm going to pick it a different way. The integral of x sine of x dx and let me rewrite uh, the formula for integration by parts over here. Alright, let's dive into the integral. We need to pick a u and we need to pick a dv. Let's say this time I'm going to pick my u as being the sine of x dx. Just trying to grab a different color here. Alright, sine of x dx. That's my u. And then my dv is going to be x. Now you notice I just erased something. I made another little mistake. My u is sine of x. And my dv is x dx. You always have to pick your dv so that it has the uh, dx into it. It's just a small mistake that I made there. My apologies. Alright, so now that we have our u and our v. u equals sine of x. du equals negative cosine of x. dv equals x dx. Our v equals one half x squared. Just taking the integral of x dx to get the v. Now we can put everything into our formula. Alright, uv gives us 1 half x squared sine of x. That's just the uv in the formula there. Minus the integral of v du. 1 half x squared du negative cosine of x dx now notice what we have here this will give us after we rearrange everything the integral of x squared cosine of x we're no closer to solving this integral than what we were before so that's the point you need to drive home um, there is actually pretty easy thing to remember with this. Pick your u so that it either decreases or disappears as you take the derivative of it. That's a good hint. You don't always do that, but it's a good hint. For example, if this, uh, if we're finding the integral of x squared sine of x dx, we would still pick our u to be x squared, because then our du would equal 2x, and then you would uh, end up with the uh, integral of 2x cosine of x dx. Actually, I suppose it would be sine of x. Completely arbitrary. Um, and even though you wouldn't get the solution right away, you could break this up by using integration of parts to solve further. So pick your u so that it decreases with derivatives. That's the best advice I can give you on uh, integration by parts. But like I said, we're going to do a ton of practice problems. We're going to turn you guys into integrating monsters by the time this is done. You're going to be awesome at this.